The Dardic languages also Dardu or Pisaka are a sub-group of the Indo-Aryan languages natively spoken in northern Pakistan's Gilgit Baltistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, northern India's Jammu and Kashmir, and eastern Afghanistan. Kashmiri – Kosher is the most prominent Dardic language, with an established literary tradition and official recognition as one of the official languages of India. History. The terms Dardic and Dardistan were coined by G. W. Leitner in the late 19th century, based on the Greek and Latin term Daridae for the people of the region. Daradas in Sanskrit. These terms are not in current use in the region. George Abraham Grierson, 1919, with scant data, postulated a family of Dardic languages, which he characterized as an independent branch of the Indo-Iranian languages, separate from the Iranian and Indo-Aryan branches. His Dardic language family had three subfamilies, Kafiri, now called Nuristani, Central, and Dard languages. Grierson's view is now considered obsolete and incorrect in its details. However, it continues to be often cited in works of reference. Georg Morgenstiern, 1961, after a lifetime of study, came to the view that only the Kafiri Nuristani languages formed an independent branch of the Indo-Iranian languages separate from Indo-Aryan and Iranian families. He found the Dard languages to be Indo-Aryan. Dardic languages contain absolutely no features which cannot be derived from old Indo-Aryan language. They have simply retained a number of striking archaisms, which had already disappeared in most Prakrit dialects. There is not a single common feature distinguishing Dardic, as a whole, from the rest of the Indo-Aryan languages. Dardic is simply a convenient term to denote a bundle of aberrant Indo-Aryan hill languages which, in their relative isolation, accented in many cases by the invasion of Pathan tribes, have been in varying degrees sheltered against the expand influence of Indo-Aryan Midland Madhyadisha innovations, being left free to develop on their own. This is the scheme generally accepted by recent scholarship. The Midland languages, such as Punjabi and Hindustani, are spoken in the plains whereas the Dardic languages are spoken in the mountains. The essential difference is between the plains languages and the mountain languages. The grouping is acknowledged to be to some extent geographical rather than linguistic. Budras rejected the Dardic grouping entirely, and placed the languages within Central Indo-Aryan. The case of Kashmiri is peculiar. Its Dardic features are close to Sheena, often said to belong to an Eastern Dardic language subfamily. The Kashmiri language used by Kashmiri Hindu Pandits has been powerfully influenced by Indian culture and literature and the greater part of its vocabulary is now of Indian origin and is allied to that of Sanskritic Indo-Aryan languages of Northern India. According to a model proposed by Asko Parpola, the Dardic languages are directly descended from the Rigvedic dialect of Vedic Sanskrit. While it is true that many Dardic languages have been influenced by non Dardic neighbors, Dardic may in turn also have left a discernible imprint on non Dardic Indo Aryan languages, such as Punjabi and allegedly even far beyond. It has also been asserted that some central Pahari languages of Uttarakhand demonstrate Dardic influence. Although it has not been conclusively established, some linguists have hypothesized that Dardic may, in ancient times, have enjoyed a much bigger linguistic zone, stretching from the mouth of the Indus in Sindh northwards in an arc, and then eastwards through modern-day Himachal Pradesh to Kumaon. <laughs> Subdivisions Dardic languages have been organized into the following subfamilies. Kashmiri, Kosher, Standard Kashmiri, Kishor, Kashtawari, Kishtwari, Pogali, Rambani. Sheena languages: Brokhskad, the Sheena of Baltistan and Ladakh, Domaki, Kandal Shahi, Sheena, Ushojo, and Kalkoti, Palula, Savi. Chitral languages: Kalasha and Kohar. Kohistani languages: Bateri, Chiliso, Gauro, Kalami, Maya, Indus Kohistani, Tirahi, Torwali, and Wodapuri Katarkali. Pashe Kuna languages, Dameli, Gaur Bati, Nongalami includes Grangali, and Shumashtan and other classifications, Pashai may be included within Kuna, and Kashmiri within Sheena. Ketrani may be a remnant Dardic language in the Saraiki region. 
The term Kohistani is popularly used to refer to several distinct languages in the mountain areas of northern Pakistan, including Maya, Kalami, and Torwali. It can be translated as mountain language. Recording about the Torwals, a non Pashtun tribe which, with the Gabaris, occupied both lower and upper Swat prior to the invasion of Swat by the Yusufzai Pashtun in the 16th century AD. Characteristics of Dardic languages The languages of the Dardic group share some common defining characteristics, including the loss of aspirated sounds and word ordering that is unique for Indo-Iranian languages. <laughs> loss of voiced aspiration Virtually all Dardic languages have experienced a partial or complete loss of voiced aspirated consonants. Kohar uses the word boom for earth Sanskrit, bumi, one Pashai uses the word doom for smoke Hindi, dwan, Sanskrit, dom, and Kashmiri uses the word dod for milk Sanskrit, dugda, Hindi, dud. Tonality has developed in some but not all Dardic languages, such as Kohar and Pashai, as a compensation. Punjabi and Western Pahari languages similarly lost aspiration but have virtually all developed tonality to partially compensate e.g. Punjabi kar for house, compare with Hindi gar. <laughs> Dardic metathesis and other changes Both ancient and modern Dardic languages demonstrate a marked tendency towards metathesis where a Pre or postcosonantal r is shifted forward to a preceding syllable. This was seen in Ashokan rock edicts erected 269 BCE to 231 BCE in the Gandhara region, where Dardic dialects were and still are widespread. Examples include a tendency to spell the classical Sanskrit words Priyadarshi, one of the titles of Emperor Ashoka, as instead Priyadrashi and Dharma as Drama. Modern day Kalasha uses the word Draga long Sanskrit Durga. Palula uses Drubalu weak Sanskrit Durbala and Brhuj birch tree Sanskrit Burja. Kashmiri uses Dralid too impoverished Sanskrit Daridra and Krama work or action Sanskrit Karma. Western Pahari languages such as Dagri, Sindhi and Landa Western Punjabi also share this Dardic tendency to metathesis, though they are considered non-Dardic, for example cf. the Punjabi word drahat tree from Persian Daract. Dardic languages also show other consonantal changes. Kashmiri, for instance, has a marked tendency to shift K to CH and J to Z e.g. Zan person is cognate to Sanskrit Jan person or living being and Persian Jan life. Punjabi and Western Pahari share this tendency also, though they are non-Dardic e.g. compare Hindi Deko look to Punjabi Veko and Kashmiri Vuchiv. <laughs> Verb position in Dardic Unlike most other Indo-Aryan or Iranian languages, several Dardic languages present verb second as the normal grammatical form. This is similar to many Germanic languages, such as German and Dutch, as well as Uto as Tekken Oadam and Northeast Caucasian in Gush. Most Dardic languages, however, follow the usual Indo-Iranian SOV pattern, similar to Japanese. See also Dardistan Dard people Nuristani languages Topic Notes One carrot the Kohar word for earth is more accurately represented, with tonality, as boom rather than boom, where U indicates a rising tone. Two carrot the word Dralid actually includes a Kashmiri half vowel, which is difficult to render in the Urdu, Devnagri, and Roman scripts alike. Sometimes, an umlaut is used when it occurs in conjunction with a vowel, so the word might be more accurately rendered as Dralid. 3. Carat Southern Indo-European represents a late Proto-Indo-European dialect ancestral to Proto-Indo-Iranian, and was possibly spoken by the Poltavka culture sometime in the mid-3rd millennium BCE. 
4. Carat Sandhi rules in Sanskrit allow the combination of multiple neighboring words together into a single word, for instance, word final a plus word initial a merge into o. In actual Sanskrit literature, with the effects of Sandhi, this sentence would be expected to appear as sa ikasvasti. Also, word final a is Sanskrit as a schwa, similar to the ending e in the German name, Nietzsche, so e.g. the second word is pronounced e acute k. Pitch accent is indicated with an acute accent in the case of the older Vedic language, which was inherited from Proto-Indo-European. 5. Karat Hindi Urdu, and other non-Dardic Indo-Aryan languages, also sometimes utilize a verb second order similar to Kashmiri and English for dramatic effect. Ye ek gora hai is the normal conversational form in Hindi Urdu. Ye hai ek gora is also grammatically correct but indicates a dramatic revelation or other surprise. This dramatic form is often used in news headlines in Hindi Urdu, Punjabi and other Indo-Aryan languages. Sources Morgan Stiern, G. Arano Dardica. Wiesbaden 1973 Morgan Stiern, G. Die Stelling der Kaffersprechen. In Irano Dardica, 327-343. Wiesbaden, Reichert 1975 Decker, Kendall D. Sociolinguistic Survey of Northern Pakistan, Vol. 5. Languages of Chitral. The Comparative Study of Urdu and Kohar. Badshah Munir Bukhari National Language Authority Pakistan 2003. National Institute of Pakistani Studies, Quaid-i-Azam University and Summer Institute of Linguistics 1.